These are the main types of tea that you may come across. And the first one, starting at the top, is your classic black tea that you'll find inside your tea bags. This is a black tea called Cut Tear Curl. Uh, that describes the very fine cut of the leaf, which is chopped very fine and typically put inside a tea bag so that it brews quickly. And that gives you a strong cuppa very quickly um, when you're in a rush. Coming around anti-clockwise, we've got the uh, orthodox leaf. This is a black tea. Orthodox just means traditional leaf. And you'll see that that's a larger cut. And you can see the individual pieces of the leaf. And this will brew with more complexity. It has a very nice flavor. Um, lots of different types of orthodox teas available. This is Russian Caravan, which has a slight smokiness to it. Coming around to this one, we've got a semi-oxidized tea. These are called oolongs. Oolongs are less well known in the UK, but are absolutely delicious. And they have a slightly lighter flavor than black teas. So they're very good if you don't take milk in your tea. And they can be, the leaves can be reinfused more than once. So uh, a very interesting tea uh, and well worth exploring. Coming around then to the bottom, we've got a fermented tea. This is a tea called Pu'er, and fermented teas are great for your, are beneficial for your digestion, um, but they also have a distinctive taste. Um, it can be a little bit of an acquired taste, but it's not unpleasant. Um, it's earthy and peaty, and that comes through the fermentation process. And they typically come from China. Other countries do produce them as well. And then around to this side, we've got some rolled balls. These are rolled or wrapped leaves. And each one is an individual um, picking of leaves. So two leaves and a bud. And they're rolled like a paper ball and rolled into these individual balls. This is a white tea, actually, called Jasmine Dragon Pearls. And this has a wonderful jasmine flavour um, because the leaves of the tea are infused with jasmine flowers. And uh, that happens a number of times, com uh, continuous infusions, four, five or six times, to really build a lot of jasmine flavouring into the leaf. Classic sort of tea that you may get in a very nice Chinese restaurant in between your courses. Um, and again, this one comes from China. Coming into the centre, we've got a different type of white tea. This one is called Silver Needle. And you can see from the appearance, it's a lot lighter in colour than some of the other teas. And you can see why it's called needles. They're very uh, long and pointed leaves. These are actually the buds that are harvested from the top of the plant. And they're silver or white because on the underside of the leaf uh, and the bud when it's picked, there is a hairiness, a furriness to the leaf, which protects it during um, the stages while it's opening, protects it from cold weather as well. And that uh, gives a very distinctive white color. And white teas like this silver needle are very highly prized and some of the most expensive and best quality teas that you'll come across. Very delicate in flavour though, so it's important you understand um, the difference between the different teas and how this one uh, is typically brewed. And then finally, off on this side, we have a classic green tea, another green tea from China. Um, China is particularly known from its for its green teas, and it has a top 10 um, teas that it lists as its most famous. This is one of those top 10. This is Long Jing, and Long Jing has a long flat leaf, which you can see there if I ease one out. And this comes from the processing where the leaves are heated in a wok to stop the oxidization and to keep the green color and to retain the classic green tea taste from uh, the heating of the leaves to stop oxidization. So here we have a whole range of different tea leaves. This selection is just a small selection of the over 100 that we have within the shop here at Tea Traders. And if you want any advice or suggestions, 
or help with enjoying and getting the most from your tea, please get in touch with us and we'd love to hear from you.